to measure optical powers in the nanowatt range, but at wavelengths not suitable for standard photodiode-based sensors? Ophir's RM9 radiometer may be just the right solution for you. It's a sensor for measuring the power of very low-level CW or quasi-CW sources over a very broad spectral range from the UV to the deep IR. It consists of a pyroelectric sensor in conjunction with an 18 Hz chopper. A pyroelectric sensor has the sensitivity and the spectral range to do the job. Normally, however, it can only respond to pulses. The chopper takes the CW beam and converts it to a pulsed beam. The RM9 senses the chopped pulses and by lock-in detector technology measures these 18 Hz pulses only. By filtering out any signal that's not at the chopper's 18 Hz, the RM9 greatly reduces noise and this allows us to measure powers as low as 100 nanowatts. To set up the RM9, we first connect the sensor's DB15 smart sensor connector, which is hardwired to the sensor's electronics box, to the meter, in this case a Vega. Then we connect the included BNC cable between the RM9's electronics box and the chopper. Finally, we connect the included charger to the chopper's 12 volt DC input socket. Note that the chopper has mounting holes on all four sides so that you can mount it in whatever orientation is most convenient for your setup relative to the sensor and the beam. To perform the measurement, we set the appropriate power range or scale. We then select the wavelength from among the default favorites. If the wavelength we need is not one of the defaults shown, we can modify any of the defaults to the wavelength we need. That's all there is to it. Additional steps for getting the highest accuracy can be found in the user note that comes with the RM9. The RM9 is compatible with all Ophir standard meters and PC interfaces when using the latest firmware versions. With the older instruments, Nova and LaserStar meters, and the USBI, Pulsar, and Quasar PC interfaces, there is partial support only in that the range of powers is limited. Details, as well as all current instrument firmware versions, can be found on our website. For more information, please contact your local Ophir representative or visit our website.